Hey y'all, welcome to DIY Vibe. If you're a subscriber, thanks for coming back. If you're not a subscriber, go ahead and hit that red button below so you can keep up with all the projects that I'm doing. Today's project is actually three different crop tops, including this one that I'm wearing. This just happened to be my favorite, but as usual, all of the details and everything will be in the description below. All right, let me show y'all what we're working with. Just a simple kind of fleece pullover with the button up. Uh, I started off by folding it upward just to see kind of where I wanted it to be because I just wanted to be cinched around my waist. I didn't want like a crop top all the way. I just wanted to kind of shorten it and then add an elastic band so it gives you that kind of like, I don't know, hugged, hugged in kind of look. <laughs> so I decided to use bobby pins to actually pin it up just to make it stay. So by the time I like take it off, I will know exactly where I want it to actually be um, shortened or cropped. From there, I started pinning it just all the way around the shirt, slowly, just like maybe like an inch apart, just so everything would stay in place once I started sewing. Once you're done pinning it all the way around, then it's time to sew. So really, I just sewed all the way around there. Don't mind my slow sewing. I'm still kind of a beginner, so I don't... I keep it real slow and gradual riding it out <laughs> but yes yeah, so i just sewed all the way around the shirt all the way until i made a full circle once you make your full circle sew it all the way around then you go ahead and cut your thread and so i did it kind of backwards usually i would cut the excess fabric beforehand but this time i ended up sewing um sewing it and then cutting it but either way it works so yeah i'm just cutting off that excess fabric on the inside Right here, all I'm doing is measuring out my hips just to make sure that it'll actually give me the fitted look that I'm wanting. So just making sure that it's the right size before I actually cut it in, add the drawstring or the um, elastic band. For your elastic band, you'll have to choose basically like an entry and an exit um, hole to cut. I chose to do mine on the side just, just in case I messed up or something, it wouldn't be too noticeable like on the front or the back. So I just cut two like small little holes on the side of it right where i've already like sewed in that extra kind of pocket for the elastic band these were super helpful these little tools i don't remember the exact name but of course i'll link the um, item in the description for amazon but basically what it is it's a tool that goes all the way through your loop that you've created for your elastic band so then you can actually tie it onto there and then it'll bring it all the way back through for you so using the tool, I just put the point of it through the, my entry hole that I had already created and I just kept pulling the fabric onto my tool until my the point of the tool reached the exit hole and then I could actually see it. And from there, all I had to do was tie my elastic band to it and then I just pulled it right back through since my the end, of, like the handle of the tool was already still sticking out. So it made it easy for me to just kind of pull it right through. Keep the little excited dance. <laughs> I was so excited that this tool worked because it made it so much easier. Yeah, from there, all I had to do was sew the elastic ends together. And then I went back through and I actually sewed up my um, entry and exit hole together. And boom, this is what we were working with. It came out so cute. It was really like a subtle kind of change, but I like it. <laughs> This one was just a regular crop top I had had for a long time and I hadn't worn it in a while and we just wanted to kind of revamp it a little bit. I did this one the same way as the previous one. I just kind of laid it out and decided where I wanted to fold it up at. And then I just started placing pins in it until I got all the way around the shirt with it. Yep, once you're done pinning, then you take that thing over to the sewing machine and you're gonna sew all the way around town until you get back to where you started at. Once I'm done sewing, I go ahead and remove the pins that I had previously placed in the shirt. And then I go ahead and cut my entry and my exit hole for my drawstring. For this shirt, I decided to put it in the middle. So I was just trying to see where the actual center was because I wanted my drawstring to, you know, have that cute little centered bow tie kind of look. I decided to use the tool a little differently last time. Last time I put the tool through by itself and then dragged the elastic all the way back through. But this time I decided to actually tie the drawstring onto the tool and then put that all the way through the shirt. Mm -hmm. 
So once I got to the other side, I just took the drawstring out of the loop so I could take the plastic tool back out through it. And like the last one took me a little bit of time, but I was excited because I thought it was like so much easier than what I had been doing. But this way was like crazy. Just watch how easy the tool just comes out effortlessly. Like what? After that, the only extra thing I did was kind of tie the both ends of the drawstring and not just so they won't slip back through the actual loop that we created. But yes, like I said in the beginning, this was definitely my favorite. I thought it was so cute. Last but not least, we have this cute kind of top. It says normalize talking about mental health. It's cute. I just wanted to add a little twist to it. I just took a lighter color marker and just kind of, I guess, figured out where exactly I wanted to crop it up to, where I wanted it to sit on my stomach. And I just marked it right there so that way I know exactly where I want to cut the shirt. It's really faint, but that's how I wanted to be. I didn't want to put any like dark colors on the shirt, but in the center of the shirt, if you look right there where I'm cutting, it was like a little blue mark. So yep, just chopping it in. Same as the other two, I just pinned all the way around the shirt to mark where I wanted to sew in my loop. And then I started sewing and I just sewed all the way around the shirt. This one was on my waist, so I just measured out my elastic band accordingly and just figured out kind of how tight I wanted it to be. And then I cut it from there. I won't bore you guys by telling you all the details of what I did again, because this one is basically the same exact steps that I took with the first shirt as far as sewing it and then putting your tool through, bring your elastic band back out, sew it back up, and then boom, just rock out with your cute shirt that you've created. I already know I'm gonna make so many of these for the summer, but yeah, thanks for watching guys. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and see you next time.